You ain't got to go home, but you got to get the hell up out of here. Hit it. Hey everybody, it's your favorite friend, Blonde Richie, and welcome home. Come on in, child. And today, I'm going to be getting rid of this ugly orange hair. <laughs> A few weeks ago, I dyed my hair cinnamon by a door, and it was nice for the day but it faded into this ugly orange, orange color, and I hate it. Hey, boo, guess what? I hate you. Delete yourself from my life. Now, I could put a darker color over it, but I really don't want to. I want to get this color out, and it's just not fading enough. So, last night, I did a lot of research on how can I remove semi-permanent hair color from out of my hair, because apparently, it's probably one of the hardest things to get out your hair you just want to let it fade but i need this color out now the day of recording this video is the day before thanksgiving and i got places to be tomorrow so i need to look cute all right so we gotta get this color out so i found a method by this beautiful girl hairstylist in england and she came up with this formula of how to get the hair color out of your hair fast and at home and it's simple ingredients that you can find at any store and just one ingredient that you need from the hair. So the first ingredient is 10 volume developer and you get this at any beauty supply store. The second ingredient that you're going to need is baking soda and you know you can get this from any any store. The third item you're going to need is Dishwashing liquid. You know you can get this from any store. I heard that Dawn is the best at this process, but I'm pretty sure any dishwashing liquid could work. But I'm being told that Dawn is the best. And the fourth ingredient you're going to need is shampoo. Now, she used purple shampoo because she wanted to go back to her normal blonde hair and tone her blonde hair while doing it. Me, I, after I remove this color, I'm putting another color on top of it because my roots are growing out and I'm not touching up my roots for a while. So I want a color that's going to look nice with the black roots. So um, instead of using purple shampoo, I'm going to be using clarifying shampoos just to help with the process. So let's get into mixing up this concoction getting it onto the dough so right now i'm just placing the baking soda in and i used about half of that box next thing i'm going to add is the 10 volume developer add that and don't worry 10 volume developer is so light that it shouldn't damage your hair and also another great thing about this method is that it's supposed to be damage free I was scared to use other methods like the oops and other color strippers because I heard they could be damaging to your hair. So I'm going to add the dishwashing liquid now. And she said two squirts, so that's one squirt, two squirts. And now I'm going to add the shampoo. This is the L'Oreal Colorista Fader Shampoo. Now I'm going to add the one and only Clarifying Shampoo Color Oasis. I got this from the Dollar Tree. And then I'm gonna mix it up. She said that once you mix it up, it should have like a egg white consistency. So I'm gonna mix it up and then I'm gonna show it to you. So here is the finished product. And it has that egg white consistency, not too thick yet not too thin. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put on some gloves and we're gonna start, you know, putting it on the dome. Put it on the dome. So as I usually do, I'm gonna put a little bit on here and then I'm going to escape and put the rest on in a mirror where I can like see really good. But I'm just gonna apply to my hair and make sure that it's saturated really well. I'm gonna scrub in and scrub down as I'm going. Just to activate it a little bit and see if we can scruffy some of that color out. That was good. <laughs> Okay, I got some of it in there. So I'm gonna disappear right now and I'm gonna put the rest in and I'll be back once it's in. All right, so it's all in everybody. So I'm gonna let it sit in my hair for about 45 minutes to an hour. I'll be back in about 45 minutes. 
Hey y'all, I'm back and from the looks of it, it is all out. It has not even been 45 minutes yet. So I wanna hurry up and get this out of my head. I will be back once I rinse everything Everybody, out. I'm back. I washed everything out and yes, it definitely stripped the color. I am back to blonde. Just like thing. Just like thing. Child. Do I feel damaged? It feels kind of the same way it would feel if you were toning your hair. And it has to be because of the developer. This Mystic Divine developer is some trash. You're trash. You're trash. You're trash. You're trash. I don't like it. I'm not using it again. It doesn't feel gummy or anything like that. So I will be doing this method again if I have to remove color, but it's not something that I would do on a regular basis. I would really have to hate the color in order for me to do this. And I hated that orange with a passion. I hated that color. Okay, you guys, so I'm about to do another video where I'm gonna be dyeing my hair. I will see you guys in the next video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I will be linking the video to the original person who did this method, who created this method. I will be linking that video below so you can watch her method too. Just in case you wanna make sure I didn't leave anything out or <laughs> something like that. But until next time, you guys, peace.